Hey everybody, I hope you're having a lovely day. My name is Kaiva Rose and I'm here to offer you the astrology insight for the week of September 29th through October 4th. And before I begin, I would like to sincerely thank all of my patrons for all of your support. And if you'd like to become a patron, you find that these videos are helping you on a daily basis, I'd appreciate it if you went over to patreon.com slash Kaiva Rose and became a patron. You'll get these videos ahead of the general public as well as discounts off your readings. And so this week we have reached the authenticity checkpoint. It's to remember that the best life that you can live is when you are your most authentic. And relationships are thriving when you are your most authentic because you're not so concerned with what's right, what's wrong, what are they doing, should I do this or not, constantly weighing out whether or not you should do something based on somebody else. This is this week is really allowing yourself to see that if you want to have the best life and you want to have the freedom in your life to really have a gen genuine, unique experience and honor that self-worth that you've discovered, it has everything to do with allowing yourself yourself to be authentically you, which could mean that you're a weirdo, you're unique, and that is absolutely wonderful because that is what you uniquely bring to relationships and that's what makes relationships thrive. It's not checking in to see what they're doing and whether or not you should be doing something in your life based on somebody else. Of course, that is to say that make sure you're not being an asshole and you know not considering other people's feelings and all that kind of stuff. But there is a point where there has to be a balance between how much you are allowing other people to justify whether or not you should do something or not. So this week, make sure to check in with yourself and say like, am I being authentic with who I really am in this relationship? Starting this week's astrology report on Friday the 29th, we have the full moon at six degrees Aries and Venus square Uranus. Today is about changing up the rhythm and living your best life. It's about allowing yourself to really explore other areas of your personality, other areas of life that you always want to experience and explore. This is your opportunity today to let go of the usual flow, the usual habits, and instead really embrace this rhythm change. Because in order for you to have the most authentic relationship, you have to be more authentic yourself. And there's some self-discovery around things that you've been wanting to get into things they've been wanting to know and now that you have that self-worth that can help you really understand these areas of your personality that you want to explore these areas of your life that you've always been curious about now is the day to really allow yourself to break out of those habits those traditions and those standards that have just become so much of a usual flow and allow yourself to do something new something different that is really going to allow you to have a unique individual experience on Saturday the 30th, we have Mercury trine Uranus. There is a nice mental clarity and inspiration in the air today. So embrace that you know where you want your attention to flow. And so get on with it. Knock down those walls that have been limiting you from really achieving the goals that you want to. You've created the space in your life to really allow yourself to see why you need to knock down these certain limitations and break through so that you can continue to grow and evolve. So today is an exciting day to just get on with it. Start plotting the future as you knock down what has been limiting you and embrace where you are right now. On Monday the 2nd, we have Mercury opposing Neptune and Venus trying the North Node and Sextile the South Node. The theme for today is imagine all the possibilities that could be. It's about allowing yourself to have fun and to experience yourself in new dynamics. And it's allowing yourself to say like, what could be, what happens if I do this? It's about allowing yourself to not take anything too serious today, to not have to really ground into who you are in relationships. This is an exploratory day. This is the day where you kind of say, what if, what are the possibilities that I have in front of me? So have fun, try new experiences, meet new people, try new relationships, keep today in a sort of what are the possibilities, imagine. And again, don't ground into anything. Don't think you have to take today too seriously. Enjoy today, let it be lighthearted and fun. On Tuesday the 3rd, we have Mercury trying Pluto. 
The clearer you are and more assured you are of where you want your focus to go provides you with the opportunity to free the binds from the old power dynamics with those things that might have held you back in the past. Today is a day of liberation because you have refined your focus and there's certain things in your life that you do not need anymore. And now it's time to mentally commit to yourself and get rid of those things, unwind those binds to those power dynamics and embrace your personal freedom to create the reality that you want to create for yourself. On Wednesday the 4th, we have Mercury's ingress into Libra and Mars conjunct the South Node and opposing the North Node. Today can be sort of a tricky day because the vibe is do the right thing, say the right thing, but the real question is, what is the right thing? Who establishes what is the right thing? So you're gonna have to balance out today your own authentic want to have an individual experience with doing the balance and the harmony with the community and the people in your life. And so today it's important that you don't overexert yourself, lose your values and just jeopardize your entire independence on behalf of other people to do the right thing, say the right thing. It's about that you are authentically you and you need to bring your unique perspective, your unique self, to the situation because you are part of the equilibrium and the balance of that situation. And if you just go along and play along with what somebody else thinks is right, you're not necessarily being most authentic and you're not allowing the situation to be truly balanced as it needs to. And so as well today, we have that Mercury going into Libra. And this is tricky because Mercury is leaving its domicile of Virgo where it knows. It knows because it's doing the work, it's working on itself. And now Mercury moving into Libra is like, well, what do you know? And how can I balance or like bounce off my ideas with you? Or what can I learn from you? Or how can I belong together in this group dynamic? What do I need to know? to belong and so mercury and libra can be a little tricky because our mind can have a tendency to want to just maybe be along with everybody else instead of really saying you are unique as who you are you have a unique place and yes it's about understanding the rules of the community and the dynamic that exists there but it's about remembering that you bring something unique and genuine to that you experience. So you don't wanna forget about that and lose yourself in just blending in with all that is. Allow yourself, well, Mercury is in Libra, to say like, okay, these are the rules and the framework, now I'm going to play and bring my own unique touch to that. And so just today in general, it's about, because Mars is um, in, in Libra conjunct the South Node. Today is what I was saying earlier, is just make sure that you don't feel like you have to play by somebody else's rules too much, that you just completely lose all ambition. That's all for this week's Astrology Report. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at 11kaivarose33.com. If you'd like to become a patron and support my work and receive these videos ahead of the general public, you can go to patreon.com slash kaivarose. If you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And other than that, please do make sure to like, subscribe, and share these videos. And I wish you all a blessed day.